Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the Bosch Report. Well, today we're taking a look at the country's hottest investment topic at the moment. And of course, we're talking about the National Investment Fund's bond offering, which went public and opened on July 12th. That's last week, Thursday. Now, the government is seeking, through the NIF, to raise just or monetize just around $4 billion worth through an issuing of bonds uh, um, secured by assets which have been placed into the NIF totaling nearly $8 billion. So let's take a closer look at what's on offer. And the bonds will be issued in three tranches, which cumulatively will total no more than $4 billion. And in terms of individual offerings to the market, the three tranches include a five-year, 4.5% bond, which could range from anywhere between 0.8 to $1.2 billion in total issuance. Series B will comprise is a 12-year bond, which pays a 5.7% coupon, and that's between 0.8 and 1 point, uh, sorry, $2 billion. And Series C, similarly, is a 20-year bond paying 6.6%, and that has a minimum issuance range from $0.8 billion to a maximum of $2 billion. Why the ranges? Well, it's one, to ensure that there's the widest available participation, with $4 billion being one of the largest single security issuances in recent history, and two, to make sure that investors' preferences are satisfied as far as can be accommodated. So let's look at some key dates about the offer now. Um, commencement, again, was started on July 12th. The final date for lodging applications is the 9th of August, so just about three and a half weeks again for investors to make a final decision and make a subscription at any of the brokers, or including both. Expected not notification of allotments is expected to occur on the 30th of August, and electronic transfer of refunds are expected to take place on the 3rd of September. The date of listing on of the bonds is carded for 4th of September, and importantly, the issuer can extend the offer period from August 9th if needed. So is NIF worth investing in? That's the $4 billion question for on, on the minds of investors. And let's take a look at it, one, from a return perspective, and secondly, from a risk perspective. So from a return perspective, and we're comparing it to government bond yields, at the current level of government bond yields, and it's important to know that the National Investment Fund bonds are not government bonds, and they are not government guaranteed. However, there is a great measure of security being provided by financial collateral, totaling nearly two times the amount of bonds that will be outstanding. So let's take a look again at the government bond yields. For the five year, a government bond right now would offer investors 3.5% per annum. A 12 year bond are just around 4.7% per annum. This is for government. And a 20 year bond just around 5.6% 5 5 per annum. And these are government yields. The NIF, however, is offering just about 1% above what government bonds can offer uh, at 4.5% for the five year, 5.7% for the 12 year, and 66 for the 20 year. Now that's attractive on its own when you think about the security that's being provided. However, the added benefit of the NIF bonds includes a tax exempt status, meaning that interest that is paid on these bonds will be free of tax for all holders, individual and institutional alike. So let's take a look at how that, how that stacks up when we do a more of a apples for apples comparison relative to taxable instruments in the fixed income market right now. And at the, one, at the extreme end, where at, uh, institution's tax rate is about 35%, and here we're talking about the banks, the five-year, although it's offering 4.5% uh, on a tax-exempt tax basis, an equivalent taxable yield me would mean that a, a bank or, in the, or institution that is investing at a 35%, with a 35% marginal tax rate, would have to find a similar uh, bond which pays a 6.9% coupon if it, would, if it had a taxable status. So certainly that tax exempt status offers a lot of value to individuals and institutions that, that have a tax bill or attract taxes on interest income earned. And the same story goes for the 12 and the 20 year uh, tranches where the nominal uh, coupon is 5.7% for the 12 year and on an equivalent taxable basis, that would be comparable to a bond that is fully taxed at 8.8% in the highest tax bracket. And similarly for the 20 year, that 6.6% converts to almost 
equivalent taxable yields. So certainly a lot of offer on value um, for investors when considering that tax exempt basis. From a risk perspective, of course, several things to consider. And for bond investors, there are always three major concerns. One, how will interest rates affect my NIF bond prices? Or oh, in particular, how will high interest rates affect my NIF bond prices? Secondly, in terms of liquidity, can I sell my bonds, my NIF bonds quickly if a need arises? And thirdly, default risk, or can the NIF repay or comfortably repay my principal and interest um, as it becomes due? Well, in the case of interest rates, for a very long time, for the past almost 18 months, there has been no significant changes to the Trinidad and Tobago yield curve. So that would augur well for investors looking to invest in this particular bond. Having said that, the, the central bank recently increased its monetary policy uh, rate of the repo rate from 4.75 to 5%. So that may create some, uh, some level of uncertainty to bond investors in terms of where interest rates are going. With respect to liquidity, well, this, as mentioned, is one of the largest bond, invest bond auctions or offerings made available to the public in recent times. And more importantly, it will be listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Corporate Bond Exchange, which should lead to greater price discovery and make it quite tradable. And finally, in terms of default, we're talking of um, Caricris would have rated this bond issuance, a carry double E rating, which is a high credit quality. And as mentioned previously, there is significant collateral backing, backing this bond issuance of $4 billion, where the collateral is almost $8 billion. So those, those factors would serve to mitigate, to a large extent, some of the risks that are associated. Well, next week, we take a, a closer look at where these bonds could be priced. Uh, individuals and investors typically think that bond prices do not change significantly over time, but the reality is that they do. And with the significant value being placed on offer, especially from a taxable basis or the, for the taxable investor, there could be the case that where the bond price may go up in the short term. So we'll take a closer look at that next week. That's it for this week's report. For more information, give us a call at 226-8773. Email us at invest at boasfinancial.com or visit our website at boasinvestment.com. Now, if you'd like to invest in the NIF bond offering, you can do so through Boss or any of the other brokers listed. Have yourselves a great investing week. This has been The Boss Report. Mm -hmm.